Superlative adjectives are used to compare three or more things. We've done comparative adjectives before. I have a couple examples of irregular ones here. Great, greater, greatest, and so something is great, that's an adjective, it describes a person, place, or thing. Something that's greater is a little bit more great than whatever the great thing is. And then the thing that is the greatest is more great than the other two things. And most of us are familiar with these. Big, bigger, biggest. You have to double the G. All right, sorry, these were regular forms. You have to double the G uh, for these short adjectives with the vowel consonant endings. Small, smaller, smallest. Smart, smarter, smartest. These are regular superlative and comparative adjectives. And some of them are more than two syllables, in which case we have to add more or less for the comparative and then most and least for the superlative. So expensive, more or less expensive, and then the most expensive or the least expensive. Fabulous, more or less fabulous. The most fabulous or the least fabulous. Ironic, more or less ironic. The most or the least ironic. And then again, as I said a moment ago, some adjectives are irregular. We've dealt with these before in the comparative form. Good, better. Most people are aware of these since their first years in English. Good, better, best. Bad, worse, worst. To make sentences with the superlative adjective, our general format is subject and then a be verb or any other verb. And then the, we need that article here, the, and superlative, and then a, an optional object clause. For example, this fighter is the greatest. Here is our subject, we have our be verb, and then the, very important part of the superlative, greatest, just adjective plus EST for regular adjectives. And this answers the question, who is the greatest? Who is the greatest? This one is the most expensive. This one is our subject, followed by be verb, the, and then most expensive. It has to be the definite article, the, not a most expensive, but rather the most expensive. And this answers the question, which one is the most expensive? You are the best, or you are the best. You is a subject, followed by be verb, and then the best. Who is the best is the question. Math is the most interesting class. Again, subject, very simply, be verb, definite article, superlative adjective, and then possible object. And this answers the question, what class or which class is the most interesting? Or what is the most interesting class? Coffee is the tastiest drink. Again, very simply, subject, be verb, the superlative object. And this answers the question, what drink is the tastiest? Ferraris are the most expensive cars. Again, subject, be verb, the superlative adjective object, and this answers the question, which cars are the most expensive? Superlatives often come with in or of phrases. In this case, we have our subject and then verb, the superlative, and then in or of clause. So riceroni, that's a type of meal. Riceroni is the best food in San Francisco. Riceroni is our subject, We've got our be verb, the best. There's our superlative, and then what does it describe? The food in San Francisco. And this answers the question, what is the best food in San Francisco? Next, Wavy Gravy is the funniest man in the whole world. Wavy Gravy is the name of an old-time DJ or comedian. Be verb, the superlative adjective. What does it describe? It describes a man in the whole world. And this answers the question, who is the funniest or who is the funniest man in the world? Next, Snow White is the fairest of them all, right? Subject, be verb, the fairest of them all. Parachute pants were the most popular clothes of the 1980s. Subject, be verb, the superlative adjective, and then our object with of a time. And the question there would be, what were the most popular clothes in the 1980s? As you see, superlatives are very often used with be verbs. Not always, very frequently used with be verbs. Here we have Martinelli's has the cheapest deals in town. Right? We have the lowest prices on golf clubs in the area. Very, very frequently used with be verbs. Comparative adverbs use 
something close to the comparative adjective grammar structure. You might want to go back and review comparative adjectives. Comparative ad adjective adverbs, excuse me, come in three or four different forms, or sentences with comparative adverbs come in three or four different forms, where we're talking about one thing which is more or less than another, or two things which are the same, or are not the same as one another. And so first here we have noun one. We got one person, one place, one thing, and then a verb clause, or a verb alone, and then a comparative adverb, and noun two. And don't get confused here. We have to add a couple words to comparative adverb. This guy, so here's our noun one, and he speaks. That's our verb or verb clause. And he speaks, well, how? How does he speak? He speaks more clearly than the other guy. Now remember, so this guy's speech is clearer than the other, the other guy's speech. That would be the comparative adjective form, right? This is comparative adjective. Comparative adjective form, right? But here we want to use the verb. So this guy speaks more clearly than the other guy. This, speech, this guy's speech is clearer than the other guy. We're just adding more plus the adverb and then than. Very similar to the comparative adjective. My car doesn't drive as smoothly as yours. And so, your car's ride is smoother than mine. Right? And that again is the comparative adjective form. My car, here's our noun one, and it doesn't drive, negative, as smoothly as. So here we're comparing two things. We're not saying one is more or less than the other. We're saying they're not the same, right? And so the comparative adjective is not exactly the same as a comparative adverb in this case. But if my car doesn't drive as smoothly as yours, I think we can infer that your car's ride is smoother than mine. The Hoosiers, there's our noun one, played, there's our verb, less skillfully than. So these two things are unequal, and the Hoosiers are lower than the Blue Jays. Blue Jays is our noun two. So, the Hoosiers play was worse than the Blue Jays play comparative adjective, right? They played less skillfully. They were not as skilled. The Hoosiers' play was lower than the Blue Jays. Next, the water is coming out of this faucet more quickly than that faucet. Okay, so the flow from this faucet is slower, oh, no, faster or quicker than the flow from that faucet. Comparative adjective. Except with the comparative adverb, we're comparing what? We're comparing coming out. We're comparing the verb rather than the noun itself, right? In our comparative adjective, we have the flow. That's our noun. We've got to compare the nouns. Here we're comparing how fast is the water coming out of this and that faucet. Right? And the, the water is coming out of this faucet more quickly than that faucet. So it's faster over here, slower over here. Right? More on this side, less on this side. And finally, a heart surgeon operates about as carefully as a brain surgeon. In this case, they are the same, as carefully as. It's positive, we have our as, adverb as. And so, a heart surgeon is as, as careful as a brain surgeon, roughly. There's a comparative adjective, right? Except we're comparing how they operate. Right? A heart surgeon, that's our noun one, operates, that's our verb, remember the S, about, that's roughly, and then as, adverb as, means they're the same. Right? So if we have as, as, adverb, 
as then this is the same. If we have somehow doesn't or not dot 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 as adverb as then we have oops, not the same. And our other two ways of comparing things are uh, more adverb than more adverb than means thing A is more so thing, the noun on the noun before more does more pretty easily and less adverb than means the uh, you guessed it the noun before less does something somehow less or worse than or not as good as or whatever the adverb is right, comparative adverbs make sure that you always include the more adverb than or the as adverb as and then pay attention to your meaning right are they is one more than the other is one less than the other are they the same are they not the same and then with superlative adjectives remember your adjective rules for regular adjectives which are the shorter ones add er for comparative est for superlative don't forget the 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 and then for your longer adjectives don't add ER and EST, but rather more or less, the most, the least expensive, and then a couple irregular forms should do you.